Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Before I get into this video, I want to talk about a few things. The first is that I'm switching back to Sundays. The video that I posted on Monday didn't really do that well, so I'm going to stick with Sundays at least for now. The second thing is that the California primary is on Tuesday, so if you live in California and you're registered to vote, please vote on Tuesday. Check out the first link in the description to find your polling place. The third thing is that I've started a campaign on a website called Rally Starter to try to get a portion of the ACA rewarded to make it so that people 18 and older can choose their own insurance. Rally Starter makes it a lot easier for you all to contact your representatives and ask them to change this law. If you want to support this campaign, the link will be in the description. And I'll be following and shouting out anyone who tweets the representatives or shares the campaign. So now that that's out of the way, let's get into the video. Today I'm going to be telling the story of how I became the youngest person to run for public office in the state of California. I don't know why I haven't told this story in a video yet because it's probably one of the most interesting things that's ever happened in my life. But I'm going to tell it today because it's been almost two years since I voted for myself in the California primary. So just for a little bit of background, I've been interested in politics for pretty much my entire life. I started getting really into politics and getting involved with campaigns in around 2007-2008 when Obama was running for president. I know I'm old, a lot of you were probably still in preschool when all of that was happening. But basically, I've been interested in politics for a very long time, surrounded by a lot of people that were interested in politics growing up. So I've always been really interested in it. I didn't really think about running for office when I was in elementary school, but I was pretty into politics even back then. So one of the main questions that I get asked when I tell people that I ran for county supervisor when I was 18 is how did you come up with that idea? It's not a super interesting story. When I was a freshman in high school, I read an article about Evan Lowe who was running for mayor of Campbell in the Mercury News or Chronicle or some other Bay Area newspaper. And I was really inspired by him and a few other young people in California that were running for public office. They showed me that you could run for public office at any age and that by running you could encourage other young people to get more involved in politics. And that's exactly what I wanted to do because growing up I was always one of the only people in my group of friends or in my class that really cared about politics and that always really upset me because I know that every vote counts. I know that elected officials can have a really big impact on people's lives. So I first thought about running for office when I was about 15. But obviously I couldn't run at that time because you have to be 18 to vote and to run for office. So I just kind of sat on the idea for about three years. And then in January of 2015, when my dad and I were talking about our New Year's resolutions, I told him that I wanted to run for public office. So I looked up some of the things that I could run for and I decided to run for supervisor because supervisors can have a big impact on the entire county. And I really wanted to run for something that wasn't just in my city, but was in a wider area. So I decided to run for District 5 supervisor in Santa Clara County, which was the district that I lived in at the time. So I started making plans to run for office at the beginning of 2015. And then about a week before my 18th birthday, I filmed my announcement video with the help of my brother and my dad. I didn't really tell that many people that I was running for office. I think I only told them and one or two other people. So I edited the video had my website ready, and I actually had my dad post a video at 11.22 a.m. on August 15th, which was the exact moment that I turned 18. I knew that I wasn't gonna be home at the time, so I'm really glad that he was able to figure out how to post the video. So I posted my announcement video, and a lot of people found out about it. And some people in my life were supportive, and some people weren't, and that was kind of what I expected. When you run for public office, when you're in your teens or your 20s, some people don't think you're qualified enough, some people won't take you seriously, but I didn't let those people get to me. I knew that I wanted to run for office. So my birthday was on a Saturday, but on Monday, a bunch of reporters found out that I was running for office and I did a bunch of interviews with various stations and I was on the front page of the local section of the Mercury News, which was really awesome. So a lot of people in my area found out about my campaign. Some of the older people were not very supportive, but I got a lot of support from people my age because I think seeing me run for office made them realize that young people can be involved in politics and that there can be people that will listen to them. So throughout the rest of 2015 and early 2016, I did some talks at schools. I spoke at the Ignite conference in San Francisco. Ignite is a really amazing organization, by the way, and you should definitely check them out if you haven't already. Their website will be linked in the description. So I tried to spread as much awareness about my campaign as I could without spending money. Obviously, I didn't spread as much awareness as I could have if I had thousands and thousands of dollars. Then as it was getting closer to the election, I went to the Registrar Voters Office in San Jose and I filled out a bunch of paperwork and I got all the signatures that I needed to be an official write-in candidate. So I qualified as an official write-in candidate. I got to vote for myself, which was really awesome. I ended up getting some votes, but I didn't win. I was mostly just trying to make a statement and get more young people to vote and get more involved in politics. And I think that I accomplished that. So that's the story of how I became the youngest person to run for public office in the state of California. To any of you that are young and want to run for office, please do it. The worst thing that can happen is that you'll lose 
and maybe have a few haters. But if you're running for public office and you're anywhere between the age of 18 and 25, you're probably gonna get some media attention, which is probably gonna inspire some young people to vote and to realize that they can be involved in politics. So I'd absolutely recommend running for office at any age. I really think that there need to be more young people in politics because a lot of young people see that their representatives are two or three times their age and they feel like people that old won't really represent them very well so they don't even bother to vote. So if any of you end up running for public office and you live in my area, let me know because I really want to vote for you. The last thing that I want to talk about is a question that I get asked pretty frequently and that is would I ever run again? And the answer is 100% yes. I'm in college right now and I'm really trying to get my degree and I also work but after I graduate from college I'll absolutely think about running for office again. I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to say in this video. I'm probably going to be posting a few other videos this week probably about the election. Stay tuned for those. I love you all so much. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.